So guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to my Team of the Week 14 predictions. The upcoming Team of the Week is looking pretty good. I think Team of the Week 14 will either be really good or really average. Now this is because EA may opt to not give informs to players who were in last week's Team of the Group Stage promo. In Ultimate Team, a player can't get back-to-back -back Team of the Week informs, but they can get back-to-back -back special cards. It'll be interesting to see if EA include Messi and or Griezmann in the upcoming Team of the Week. Anyway, we'll discuss them players more in depth later in the video. Before we look towards Team of the Week 14, let's quickly recap Team of the Week 13. Now, I didn't do too bad with my predictions last week. I got most of the starting 11 right, but I didn't get many players who were in the Team of the Week reserves. In the comments section last week, you guys were pretty active with your predictions, but not too many of you predicted players correctly. In fact, most of you commented saying that David Luiz would get an inform instead of Kante. Hopefully, we're all going to be better at predicting the upcoming Team of the Week, so with that in mind, in the comments below, let me know who you think will feature in Team of the Week 14. If you could leave a like on this video, that would be muchly appreciated, and obviously subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into my predictions. So for the goalkeepers this week, I've gone for Villarreal's Sergio Asenjo and West Ham's Lucas Fabianski. Asenjo made 10 saves in a 2-2 draw. In this match, he also stopped a penalty. So yeah, he did concede twice, so that could cost him a spot in the upcoming team of the week. But I think he put in a very good performance, making 10 saves and stopping a penalty. He definitely helped his team avoid a defeat. Um, Lucas Fabianski made 5 saves in a 2-0 win for West Ham against Fulham. He got a pretty good match rating and kept a clean sheet, so I think he's got a decent chance at getting an inform. Okay, moving on swiftly to the defenders. On the left, we have PSV defender Schwab. This guy scored and helped his side keep a clean sheet in a 4-0 win. Also in this match, Dumfries, the right back, he got a go and he also helped his side keep a clean sheet so he could get the inform. But I've gone for Schwab because he got the better match rating and I really do hope I'm getting his name right. In the middle of the page, we have Bayern Munich's Joshua Kimmich. He got himself a goal and an assist in a 4-0 win for Bayern Munich against Hanover. He also got a very high match rating and I'm like 99.9% .9 sure we'll be seeing an informed Kimmich in the upcoming team of the week. If we don't see Kimmich, we'll probably see informed David Alaba because he got a goal and helped his side keep a clean sheet in that very same win. On the end of the page, we do have another Bundesliga defender. It's Ayan. He made, well, no, he scored, sorry, two goals in a 2 0 win. Two goals for a centre back and a clean sheet is huge. He should be guaranteed a spot in Team of the Week 14, in my opinion. On page two of the defenders, we've got some interesting looking cards. Um, on the left, we have Kenny from Lyon. He got two assists as Lyon beat Monaco. Um, in the middle, we have Kostic, who originally in FIFA is, of course, a winger, but he played in a left wing back role in the past week. He got a goal and an assist in a 2 1 win against Bayer Leverkusen. He also got a pretty good match rating. I'm unsure whether he'll get the inform because, you know, there's a lot of Bundesliga defenders putting in good performances in the past week, so he might not get it but um i'll go for it anyway um on the end we have daily blind he scored a hat trick that's right he scored a hat trick from center back in an 8-0 win for ajax so uh yeah that's pretty mad like ajax winning 8 nil is incredible and a center back score and three of them goals is absolutely insane so yeah i'll be very shocked if we don't see an inform blind this week on this next page we've got three players who will probably be my player picks on Thursday, but uh, hopefully not. Anyway, um, Prevlak, the player on the left, he scored four times in a 5-1 win on the weekend, so he should be guaranteed a spot in the upcoming team of the week. In the middle, we have Poulsen of RB Leipzig. He got two goals and an assist in a 4-1 win for RB Leipzig against Mainz. Now, in this game, Timo Werner got two goals and um, an assist as well. Um, but with Timo already having like free informs, I think EA will opt for Poulsen instead. But it would be pretty mad if we got a fourth informed Timo Werner. That card would be absolutely incredible. Anyway, on the end, we have Bamba. He got himself a goal and an assist in a 3-2 win for Lille against Nim. Now let's chat about some midfielders. On the left, we have Roma's Cristante. 
Oh, that's what I'm going to go with. Um, he got himself a goal in a 3-2 win for Roma. He also got a pretty good match rating in this game. So I think he could get an inform this week. I'm not confident about him um, being in Team Week 14. But um, yeah, he put in a pretty good performance in Roma's 3-2 win against Genoa. In the middle, we have Gerard De La Feu. He got himself a goal and an assist as Watford won on the weekend. They won 3-2 against Cardiff. On the end, we have Dennis Pratt. I don't know if it's Pratt or Prayer. I'm just going to go with Pratt. And um, this guy got two assists in a 2 0 win against Palmer. So, a 2 0 win for Sampdoria, and this guy was involved in both goals. Okay, now things are starting to get a bit interesting. We're going to get into some very good attackers very, very soon. On the left on this page, we have Gabauer. This guy got himself a goal and two assists in a 6 1 win for his team. In the middle of the page, we have. Uh, Liverpool Shakiri, he scored twice in a 3-1 win for Liverpool against Man United. This is obviously a pretty big derby match. I definitely expect an inform to come from this match. And with Shakiri scoring two of Liverpool's three goals, I imagine he's the front runner. So, yeah, there could be an inform Shakiri this week, which would be a pretty nice card. Now, I know he's got a stream card that's currently boosted with like night shooting, but an inform Shakiri would be pretty nice in FIFA too. I'm a big fan of his non-inform in FIFA 19. Anyway, I'm rambling. Let's talk about Zayek, the player on the end. He could get another inform. He scored three times and got an assist in that 8-0 win for Ajax. Now, I'm fully aware right now some of you are thinking, Kieran, you have three players from the Eredivisie. EA have never put three players from the Eredivisie in Team League before. I know they haven't, but um, I didn't know which one to drop. It's hard to drop any of them, to be honest, because Zayek, Schwab and um, Blind all played incredibly and got very high match ratings, so I couldn't leave any of them out. Anyway, moving on, on this next page, we have three players who could feature on the reserves of Team of the Week 14. On the left, we have O'Grady. He scored a hat-trick in a 4-2 win for his side Oldham against Berry. In the middle, we have Ham Dalla. He got himself four goals in a 4-0 win, so he should be guaranteed a spot in the upcoming Team of the Week. And then finally, on the end, we have Diego Souza, who got himself three goals in a 4-0 win. Here is the final page of my predictions this week. On the screen right now are three very good-looking potential informs. And um, we'll start by talking about the player on the left, shall we? You might have heard of him. His name is Messi. He scored three times and also got two assists in a 5-0 win for Barcelona against Levante. He was involved in all five goals and it's hard to see EA ignoring him for Team of the Week 14. Surely he's guaranteed a spot in the upcoming Team of the Week. Um, unfortunately, I think it will just be a 95 rated card. I don't think it will be a 96. But nevertheless, I'm never going to complain about an inform Messi. Hopefully, he'll be in my play picks on Thursday. In the middle of the page, we have a potential inform Griezmann. He scored twice and also got an assist in a 3 2 win for Atletico against Real Valladolid. Now, I would have been quite confident about Griezmann being in the upcoming team of the week if Messi didn't score a hat trick. But um, yeah, since Messi put in such a big performance, Griezmann might not get in. On the end of this page is a potential informed Gabriel Jesus. He scored twice in a 3-1 win for Man City against Everton. In this game, Leroy Sané got two assists, but I think EA will favour uh, Gabriel Jesus. And hopefully we'll see him get an inform on Wednesday. So guys, that is my 23-man prediction for the upcoming team of the week. But before we end this video, I do want to talk about some players which I left out. Um, Tawamba scored a hat-trick in a win in the Saudi League. But with Hamdala scoring four goals in a win in the Saudi League, I think EA will opt for him instead. I don't think we'll see two informs come from that division. Um, Danny Ings scored twice in a 3-2 win for Southampton against Arsenal. And um, yeah, as an Arsenal fan, that's not great. Danny Ings very well could be in the upcoming Team of the Week. He didn't get a high enough match rating for me to include him, but I wouldn't be surprised to see him in Team of the Week um, 14. Uh, Milohovic got himself a goal and helped Crystal Palace keep a clean sheet. Timo Werner, like I previously mentioned, got two goals and an assist in a 4-1 win for RB Leipzig. Newcastle goalkeeper um, Dubratka got made five saves and kept a clean sheet in a 1-0 win for Newcastle. Justin Cliver scored and set up another goal in a 3-2 win for Roma. And Eden Hazard got a goal and an assist in a 2-1 win for Chelsea against Brighton. Jan Sommer made seven saves in a 0-0 draw where his team was getting absolutely peppered for 90 minutes. And finally, Mario Gomez scored twice in a win for Stuttgart. 
Anyway guys, we're coming towards the end of the video now. If you could leave a like on this video, that would be greatly appreciated. In the comments below, be sure to let me know who you think will get into Team of the Week 14. Let me know in the comments who you think I've got right, who do you think I've got wrong, and yeah, all that good stuff. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.